What's up guys, Marfect here and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm testing out PUBG Mobile, the global Lightspeed version with using the GFX tool. What exactly is GFX tool? GFX tool is a app which enhances and unlocks more graphical settings for PUBG Mobile. I'm using it today with my Xiaomi Mi A2. Uh, it has a Snapdragon 660 and 4 gigs of RAM. And the S, the A2 and the A1 series of Xiaomi, this device has stock Android. So no MIUI here at all. Okay, let's go to the GFX tool itself. So uh, we do have a new layout in the GFX tool. And yeah, first of all, we have to select the um, PUBG version we are playing with. So this is the global 9.1 version. This is the latest one. Let's skip that. The resolution, I have a preset already in it. Resolution will be at this one. For me, higher up lags too much. So we're gonna try out today this resolution here. The graphics will be HDR. FPS is 60. So we can select 30 and 40 and let's try out and go with 60. Anti-lazing is also enabled. Style will be colorful. This is um, just what I like the most of these styles. Shadow is also enabled and save controls too. Okay, and then you just have to hit accept. Again, advertisement, which we're going to skip and just hit run game. And as for my newest viewers, guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell as I'm releasing new videos every day with different devices and different games. So hit the bell to stay tuned. So this can, this can take a little bit longer than usual. Because it has to change some graphical stuff and so on. Sorry for that zooming problem there all right um let's go to the settings and let's check if we have those settings and yes um, before the gfx will update somehow if we set it up to hdr it came out with hd but they seem to fix that so graphics is hd hdr frame rate is extreme main menu theme is haunted this is just newly added style effect is colorful the new style here is movie the anti-lazing option is enabled brightness is also a new option is at almost 50 percent and auto adjust settings is disabled it's pretty important that you disable this option um, because if you enable that and the game sees that your device struggles with the game it would automatically lower everything Okay, let's go with a wrangle here. Um, I want to I want to play solo and just to start game. Okay, and yeah, overall the uh, Xiaomi Mi A2 is a really outstanding device, especially if you like stock Android. For stock Android, you don't have much options in the Xiaomi area at least. Um, we do have the Mi A1, which everything started with, and then you have the um, Mi A2 Lite, which is also spec-wise about the same as the Mi A1. And then we of course have the Xiaomi Mi A2, which is um, about above mid-range. The Snapdragon 660 holds itself up really good. So you'll be able to play everything at least on high, um, if not very high settings. And then we do have a 3000 milliampere or a battery in it, which is okay. It isn't that great, but you'll get easily through one day. All right, let's uh, try out and jump somewhere around this around the coast. So everything looks and feels pretty fluid till now.
Okay, let's uh, look around. And yeah, it feels pretty fluid, I have to say. So this video is uh, is on 60 FPS. So if we experience any frame rate drop, uh, you guys can see that at the same time. There's already a little bit of shooting going on. So uh, those guys are probably um, bots. This isn't this isn't my um, main account here. This is just a test account, a guest account. So when we uh, first start out with those fresh characters, most of them will be against bots. But yeah, overall it's, it runs really good. So the GFX tool improved on that side. GFX tool seemed to be a little bit behind back T. But yeah, everything seems to be running uh, brilliantly. And now I would have thought that. But yeah, HDR also looks great. At least it does for me. I'm kind of surprised, really. And by no means, guys, I'm not trying to show off any skill. I'm not trying to uh, show you how pro I, am, pro I am and what I do. This is just for gameplay purposes. I'm just trying out GFX tool. Nothing else. So this is just review purposes. So I'm not really playing that seriously. Absolutely um, a bot. Pretty weird behavior here. Let's try out and change the scope first of all and then we're going to change to the silencer. But yeah, and I can't really feel any um, big heat up. Uh, building of heat really, uh, it's still really cool on my hands. Oh, um, your devices tend to be tend to get a little bit warmer than it used to with using like stuff like GFX tool and back T, uh, especially if your hardware isn't recommended to that. But I can't really feel anything um, bad till now of course this could be another thing if you play like three to four hours straight but till now everything runs and feels really fluid 
Um, better than I expected at first. So for me, definitely, even in high stakes situations, um, this gameplay, this um, set, these settings are really fine. I would play myself seriously with those settings too. All right. All right, guys. I think you have sh should have seen enough. Just a brief look how the GFX2 performs on the newest patch using the Xiaomi Mi A2. And as always, thank you a lot for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see new videos every day. Have a good one. See you around.